Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is the Kefalos here, and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Rune King. So, as usual, if you guys are going to enjoy it, consider leaving a like as well as hitting that big red sub button down below. I really do appreciate the support here, but most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads or single player playthroughs or content just like this one. And with that being said, let's get this episode started. So, here we are in the game, and as you can see, we are where we last left off, of course, which is in, I believe, um, this particular chamber past the memoriam. And uh, what we're doing here is we're just going to go ahead and head towards this star, which I believe is one of the uh, remaining two pylons that we need to um, turn on or activate in order to get access to the Buru Forge. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I left you guys here in the previous episode because uh, there was of course a rest point and look what looks to be two golems up ahead. I can see their feet here. Uh, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and confront them and uh, see what awaits us. Okay, so it is a battle. Um, I did mention this in the previous episode that I was worried that this might be a battle, and apparently it is. And looks like we're taking on the same type of enemy, Guardian uh, prototypes. The thing is that we did not have, the, you know, we did not manage to get a shot on them. So yeah, we're taking them on at full health. Okay, so let's just go ahead and attack this real quick because we already know what they do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I think do a taunt here with Brom since we have the overcharge. Uh, let's also do, I think, a defend. All uh, right, on misfortune, let's do a two time. Dead and buried. Let's get a double thing orb off. All right, we'll get another defend with Rom. I needed that. Because these two are attacking. Huh. All right, let's get a shredder with misfortune. Do a double rotating orb to this guy get the thunder on him so that he takes more damage. From the shredder. All right, let's repeat that. Down. All right, it's okay because Ori has a full stack of essence stuff and it should heal up Rom here. So let's do a um, Orb of Deception on this guy. Very nice. And another Shredder here should do the trick. Not quite. So a little bit more health on this guy. Okay. He is still going down, however. Let's do Orb of Deception. There we go. Wonderful. We're <laughs> getting pretty good at this. This will do. All right, so we get zero XP from this. Let's just quickly speed through. Not not a bad amount of gold. Um, not too shabby. About two thousand. That's uh very very good. What is it that powers these abominations? I feel something familiar within them. They're sunstones, the same as I carry, but they seem to hold memories. Trapped memories. The Buru religion would consider such a lack of motion to be blasphemous. Perhaps this is why the elders never spoke of this place. The Vasani came here to study the White Mist and its effects on memory. Perhaps the Forge helped them create the Sunstones and power the Golems. An interesting use of their abilities. 
Though my own ancestors may have shunned such practice, I will not be so hasty with my judgment. This power, perhaps it can aid us on our quest. Let us continue. All right, let's hope it does aid us on our quest. So let's go ahead and just turn on this next pylon. Through sparks and hisses of dispersing magic, you can make out a sigil that reads Override. Okay, let's activate Override. Alright, cool. So that's actually the third pylon. Interesting. So we need to go ahead and grab the second pylon, which I presume is going to be this one over here, I believe, the on the light silos. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I think I'm just going to cut the video here. Actually, we might even just traverse back. Now, you know what? I think I'm going to cut the video. That's because uh, to my understanding, we did take a rest uh, at this rest point over here, right? So what I'm going to presume is that the enemies in this area is going to respawn. So instead of showing you a duplicate battle, I think what I would rather do is I'm just going to cut the video and I'll just you guys just outside over here and then we will move on to the atrium of congruence so yeah i think that's the um, better thing to do okay so that's what i'm gonna do i'll see you guys in a second okay guys i'm back uh i know i said i was supposed to meet you guys outside but uh, my apologies i just noticed this um towards the corner over here it's uh, pretty much out of sight if you uh you know if you're not looking carefully so um looks like there's actually a teleport over here which should bring us back to the main chamber so yeah i think we're gonna do that instead okay let's go ahead and interact with this teleporter Alright, we are back and looks like there's a golem over here. Uh, we might have to take him on because he's blocking our way. Uh, hold on, there's a manuscript piece that I possibly might have missed. Yeah, I've definitely missed this manuscript piece. Okay, let's check this one out first. Uh, Vasani research log. Okay, that's interesting. I will leave that for later. So one side of these, uh, the puzzle is solved. We need to get the other side turned on and I believe it should be towards the conjunction chamber um, over here in the light silo. So let's go ahead and head over there. We might have to take on this golem over here. <laughs> Unfortunately, we missed the shot. Let's uh, lure him to the top. We're not going to avoid him because he's blocking our way. I won't back down. He should be pretty easy to kill, so we're not going to waste too much time. Let's straight up do a two-time. Let's have Ari do all the deception. And let's have Brom get a defend on everyone. All right, there we go. Let's do a shredder here. Let's do a debilitating orb. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. Oh, not quite gotcha. enough damage. But it should be okay. Alright, Brom's turn is coming up. Uh, I think... You know what? Let's use a little bit of mana because we don't really need to conserve mana at this point. And uh, two mana shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, so let's go ahead and do an Unbreakable here. Just to make sure that, you know, he, Brom takes damage instead of uh, Misfortune. Yeah, two mana isn't that, you know, big of a deal. We should be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather Brom take damage instead of Misfortune. Okay, let's do a... No, let's not do a love tap. Yeah, let's try to kill him straight up. Let's do a Shredder. Fish in a barrel. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> I gotta keep my instincts. Okay, as usual, not too important. We don't get any XP, so let's just go ahead and quickly speed through into the next area. Um, to my understanding, the conjunction chamber is also where we might need to take a look at the next uh, item for one of the champions. But before that happens, looks like there is a Poro hole here, which is, uh, I believe, the hole where we are gonna be able to get Brom's next component. So let's go ahead and do that. See, if we can interact with this. Odd sounds and winds are coming from this hole. It's far too small for any of you to fit through. It's barely bigger than a Poro. <laughs> okay, let's ask a Poro to investigate. Brom gently pats his pocket. 
Hey little friend, he says. Aporo picks out of Brom's pockets, yawns widely, then scurries up Brom's shoulder onto his outstretched hand. It beams up at him, eager to help. Haha, <laughs> good morning. How about an adventure, eh? A mysterious hole to explore, see what you find for us, eh? <laughs> okay, that sounds very cheerful. Um, the Poro has a look of determination and nods to Brom. It disappears into the hole. Cool. Welcome back, my friend. What is this that you've found? As Brom praises the Poro, mist suddenly pours from the hole and swirls around Brom. It, it slowly takes the form of three vaguely humanoid shapes. Okay, so it looks like we might have a battle on our hands. I will do my best. Alright, indeed it is a battle and looks like a fairly tough one. Uh, a Doom Striker and two Miss Walker Keeper of Secrets. Uh, let me just quickly see what they're doing here because it looks like they're targeting multi abilities. We have um, encountered these enemies before, so I think I know what they're gonna do. It uh, looks like they are targeting group abilities. I think we might need to use Brom's Defend for this one. That might be important. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do a Arcane Ward here just to see if we could further reduce, uh, you know, more damage. We're going to do the same with Misfortune. Uh, let's do a fancy footwork. <laughs> and let's get a defend off just to further reduce the damage taken. Hopefully we're fine. Okay, looks like we got some debuffs there. Um, okay, I think it should be all right. Let's go ahead and do a two time and see who we get. We might need to use Brom to, you know, get the uh, to target, you know, target the, uh, to to you know to make sure the enemies target him moving forward. So I think that's more important. Okay, let's try two time here. Okay, good enough. Let's get a double dating orb on Doom Striker, the most powerful enemy. That way we get the Sunder off, and we can chain off Misfortune Shredder. Alright, let's do a Taunt this turn. Let us do a Defend as well. Alright, let's get a Shredder ready. Okay, let's get a Sunder on this guy because he has a shield, so I might want him to take a little bit more damage. Oh, does that hurt? Unfortunately not. But it's okay. We uh, we have an infinite amount of Shredders that we can cast, so we should be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do a... Let's go ahead and do a Defend here. Since our Brom is still taunting. Alright, wow, we got really lucky there because we missed the uh, Doom, um, what is it, the Doom debuff there, uh, which was very, very good. Okay, in that case, let's do another Shredder. Hopefully, Ari doesn't take too much damage moving forward. We should be fine, though. 
We should be okay. Okay, let's get another defend off. Whoa. Christ. Okay, that was definitely unexpected. Um, okay, so we have to be a bit careful here. Since I had to catch my breath. Ouch. Okay, so looks like this is a fairly um, difficult battle. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We should be fine. Let's uh, see if we could try to kill them. Let's do a rally. Let's that way we get the this. increased crit chance. Okay, let's get another shredder. Another notch on my gun. Not quite enough damage, but uh, we're getting there. Okay, I think it's important that we get Ari back up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a revival potion on Ari. All right, another shredder here. Um, let's see if we could go before that. Actually, hold on. The Annihilate will cast damage, right? Okay, let's see if we could get a Shredder before that. Another one down. Okay, that's good enough. Hopefully uh, oh, we don't so die bad. here. <laughs> My hunger is fading. Hold on. Okay, let me let me just double check what it's gonna do. Doom will cast um, Doom will cast just a debuff, right? Okay, so in that case, we might have uh, you know we might be able to survive a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do a. Let's do a spirit rush to this guy. Their life is mine. We get an extra turn, which is good. Then we can do a Orbit Deception. And weaken him just enough for Misfortune's uh, Shredder. Because the Doom won't do any damage here. And we basically just get out with the skin of our teeth. So, you know, just with a sliver of health, which is very, very um, scary, I would say. Okay, it's alright. Let's go ahead and do a Shredder here. And we should get the win. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a Unbreakable just for, you know, waste the turn. And just in case, you know, say if uh, by some fluke accident uh, we somehow miss, at least Brom takes damage moving forward. You know. And with the extra turn, let's go ahead and get a Defend off. Okay, we get the win. A very lucky victory. Magic and a fairly tough victory as well. <laughs> okay, so this is something to look out for. And this gives me reason not to be too overconfident with the level advantage. Even though we are level 30, um, you know, similar level enemies could pose a little bit of a problem. But it's okay. Um, at least we got the win. All right, let's go ahead and proceed and, uh, you know, see what, you know, what is it we get. I think the Poro brought something back. Let's check it out. And we get an enormous charge crystal. So I believe this is the final component needed for Brahms legendary weapon. So as you can see, all three components have been um, acquired. The enormous charge crystal, the volcanic heart blood door, as well as Brahms fairy Orion shield. So that means all that's left to do is we just need to go to the, uh, the forge in treasure dungeon and craft this uh, weapon. So... Uh, with that in mind, I think we're going to end the video here because uh, obviously we're quite low on health. But uh, that's because we're also running out of time. So yeah, I think I would like to end the video here um, on the note where we just acquired the final crafting component uh, for Brahms Legendary Weapon. So uh, with that being said, we are going to end the video here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Ruin King. And hopefully you found it helpful as well um, how to tackle this uh, particular battle. And if you did, consider leaving a like as well as hitting that big red sub button down below. I really do appreciate the support here. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads so of single player plagiarism or content just like this one. And with that being said, this is Capitalist signing off. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hopefully I catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.